Today we have the liturgy of the Holy Innocents. The Holy Innocents were those children that died in the in the, in place of our Lord Jesus Christ because Herod, being king at that time, he was very envious of anyone that might uh, take his throne away. And he was scared that the King of the Jews, our Lord Jesus Christ, being born, uh, he didn't realize that it was something that was supernatural and his reign was not of this world. But nevertheless, he filled himself with envy and he decided to kill all the children, the holy innocents that they suffered for our Lord Jesus Christ. And they went to heaven because they had the infusion of the purification of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have in the first reading, St. John saying that if anyone has a sin, that they can be pardoned by our Lord Jesus Christ. And that they should, that none of us should say that we have no sin because then we would be lying because that doesn't happen unless it's Our Lady, St. Joseph, or some special soul that God gives the, the grace of not sinning at all. But generally speaking, each and every one of us asks pardon for our sins. And if we do this with true repentance, we, our sins will be totally forgiven, totally forgiven. And that's what happened with the Holy Innocents, even though they, they, they didn't have to ask pardon probably for their sins, but they were purified by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So in both cases, the purification comes from our Lord Jesus Christ and the salvation comes from our Lord Jesus Christ. And when it's necessary, God uh, sends an angel and takes his son to Egypt. And there would be no way for Herod to kill the son of God in Bethlehem. And so we have here that God is in charge of everything. God resolves everything. And that we have to know in our day and age, everything mm, seems to be completely out of its orbit. But we have to remember, God is the one in charge of everything. God sends us the help of Our Lady. God sends us the help of our guardian angel. And, and today we have the help of the Holy Innocents. Let's ask for their intercession for each and every one of us so that we, uh, if we're not innocent from the beginning of our lives until now entirely, we have to do what St. John says, ask pardon for our sins and all of our sins will be totally wiped out by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever.